This is a pretty good song. Who are you? This is a dangerous place, human. Especially. And why are you so intelligent, all of a sudden? What is my sis? You seem friendly for a mutant. Keep saying things like that, and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter. Sorry about that. No offense intended. And none taken, since you apologized. Thanks for warning, I can take care of myself. Yes, I hear that sometimes. Actually, hey, quite curious, where does this lead? Black Mountain. Oh, this is so. Don't worry, I could go around them if I had to. Oh yeah, I can actually. Yeah, look at them. Hey, look, I'm going around them. Oh, who knew? Yeah, I'm not done like this. Mmm, delicious. Tastes weird, but it's pretty delicious. Okay, I feel like I'm this one. What was that? But it was, it didn't sound good. I have to get up there somehow. Without alerting the enemy. Well, I could try getting up there, but it might not be worth a risk. Ooh, spare supplies! Rocks. Giant boulder. What was that? Wait, what am I saying? What was that? I know that was all too well. How much can I pass all of that? Wait, why am I questioning myself? I know how I got up there. Wait, how much? Give me a second. Crazy, crazy, crazy. New Vegas. There we go. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, how do I repair a giant robot? Oh, I got 60 science. Oh, that's easy. Because look, my science is at 90. Okay, I'm here. Now, what am I doing? We had to get past him somehow. That could work. 
Cause I got a plan. But if all's the last thing you're around, you don't want to get past all of them. Our ration self for fruits. Quickly, Amber Fiend! Sorry. We know Dum Dums! You were stupid, not us! We take it over! Now's a good time to escape. I need a stealth boy, some sort. Stealth boy, stealth boy. I'm looking for a stealth boy. Here's one. All I have to do now is to sneak out of here. Oh, I fudge. Don't you dare. There's no way I could see past my disguise. Looking for a bumper sword. I see him. Just don't get spotted. We got a minigun? Alright, right, right. Best to avoid them. I don't know how long this scene will last, but I better make this count. Since my companions are unconscious and they all been knocked out by the superman, so I'll need to make my way over to here. Uh, which one was what I'm looking for again? Storage. Looking for storage. Where exactly is storage? Is it storage? Well, I got this far without killing anybody. Not bad. What's this? What is this place? <laughs> That's pretty good fixed up. It quickly is certain that the robot's current AI state is set to hibernate. Likely a self-defense mechanism after a unit suffered catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI. After playing the right switch, Rob Raj jumps to life. Hello. Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Sure, follow me. Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, fifty-two days, forty minutes, and thirteen seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Hey there, good looking. Where'd you get that fancy suit of armor? Oh, okay, it's gone. But not for long. Oh, I can fix you up. <laughs> You're a wizard, Mr. Mannequin. And unfortunately, you don't have a key on me. What's up, boy? Don't worry, I can still talk to her. I just need to head all the way up to her basement, I guess. Nuclear radiation! Huh? You turned him from a slum! Is that you? If I had a girl's voice. It's what? Mistress Tabitha. How I missed you, sir. This stranger here fixed me and right is ready. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. You're welcome. Here, take 
this. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh. Thanks. So what do you do now? I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Bro Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed. Well, that was quick. We catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. Uh bye. Oh, that was quick. I'll grab into a 350-foot tall monster that attacked Tokyo. Here we have the missing link. A 20,000-year-old frozen fish man who was thawed out by scientists. He escaped. Went on a rampage in his old watering hole. This handsome fellow is Dr. Kakarote, Ph.D., the most brilliant man in the world. He invented a scientific machine that would give humans the cockroach's ability to survive. Unfortunately, there was a side effect. Man, we call this thing Bob. Now we'll get her out of here. Thank you. A genetically altered tomato was combined with a chemically altered ranch-flavored dessert topping at a snack food plant. The resulting goop gained consciousness and became an indestructible gelatinous mass. And our latest addition, Ginormica. <coughs> General, continue. Her entire body radiates with pure energy, giving her enormous strength and size. Sir, these monsters are our best and only chance to defeat that robot. Don't we already have an alien problem, General? I don't think we need a monster problem, too. You got a better idea, nerd. Oh. Oh, okay, stay where you are. <clears throat> General... I propose we go forward with your monsters versus aliens idea. Thank you. Go. These are savings worth celebrating. Now, get up to 3,000 in total savings on the 2019 Hyundai... Okay. Guess I don't have to worry about it. And Black Mountain's longer my concern now, so. Now what do we do? Well, it's more of a radio, right? Yeah, no. I forgot to turn on the radio. And no, it's not there, Alina. Guess they're gone. Well, I've seen the rainbow, I suppose. Is anyone home? Oh, really? And that's the password. Is anyone inside a house? Oh. Figures. Oh, you seem friendly after me, so I'm just gonna bother with a diplomacy act, I suppose. You bother this for a bit. There, I'll reveal. Who are you supposed to be? Took you long enough, so can I go now? 
It's okay, babe. It's okay, but I'm Mary. Enjoy your freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Actually, do you want to tag along with me? Sorry, boss. But as much as I like. Come, Roll. Hey, Venture, oh, wait! Sorry. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. Who are you? Name Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I was born just outside Mexico City. How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Sheriff Amos. What's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Huh? Yeah, of course not. Not really. How'd you end up up here? Well, boss. When a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. But how did I have to find you in the first place? Yeah, it's stupid, boss. Well, one day the city will stop. So I figured I'd try to find the transmitter. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my service. That's all I wanted to know. We'll talk more later. Anything you say, boss. For now, I just stay here for a bit and want to go anywhere else. Right now, though. Don't worry, I know the closest thing I can get there. To Cassidy! It wasn't a stroke. Well, it's so far. I got four minutes before. Something happens, I suppose. I'm surprised that we're actually just inside of Recon City. Facility, I swear. Wait, what happens up? No, that one's dead as... Well, I don't know. Dead as what, exactly? Yep, can you now? Sure, sunny off that one, they're bad. You're, you're kidding me, right? You're all the way up there? God damn it. Hey, Veronica, we don't have to stay around for her, but let's go! Should have brought something to read. Aww. Let's go! What are you looking at? What's up? Like, I can't stand right here forever. Let's go. Do you know what just goes if your ass down in the corner? Dumbass stick in the mind. Oh, now you're starting to lose. No one idea. Stop that. Lots going on here. Swagmaster, as dumb as you are, please come in and save me. Why did this bullshit? The straight machine doesn't have beer. Where's the boots cough? What are these weird drinks? Cop it. Cop to you. Diet cop. Sprint. No. God damn it, I didn't know how the economy was this low. Like so much cop and crap. Screw it. Sounds like something I can't get high on. I don't know what killed them. Please insert one dollars and ninety-five cents more. If they just don't point the weapons at me. Top of the morning to you, Swagmaster. How are we on this fine day? Dear God, 
And I know what they're for. Alright, fine, dude. Yeah. Hmm. Curious. I can't get rid of it, I don't really need. Oh, that thing's the second one we need. The laser. RCW. What's so different from the other weapons? Hello? Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. What time is it? That doesn't help. I don't know what time it is, really. Now we're cleared. Or it's Rose of Steel. Oh. Now it's the devil. I need some kind of key. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Welcome to Repcon. Well, all right. Okay, I just, I don't know why, but maybe if I go past her. Welcome back. I get two of the museum. Excellent. Excellent. Show me out of the museum, please. Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy of the fine folks at Rocco, I'll be your guide today on the path of. Scientific discovery. Oh boy. Where is it? Guess I'll take the long way there then. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rock from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Good idea. These things are practically poisonous. What's this? Reputation with these people. Not good at all. This claim are poisoning our environment. Ridiculous. Yeah, let me get that for you. I'm fine, so I'm gonna find me. Behind me is our most recent rocket project, which we're keeping under our hands. Until launch, if you'll pardon the expression. Hmm. And in front of me is a model, not actual size, of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets screaming into orbit. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna check my map. Are we closer to our destination? Yeah, we're almost there. Behind me are Redcon's earliest experiments. Ah, unfortunately, it's obviously. Experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. Now keep that in mind. Thank you.
Now for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Rodko, this next exhibit showcases the, the earliest handyman. Robots. Around you, are the incredible eyeball, the fearsome sentry bot, and the <laughs> always helpful Mr. Handy. That helpfulness runs through our whole line. I see. Whoa. Look at this. this it's beautiful. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Rocco and Redcon hopes to go. To space? Was there a rocket zipping about? They are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. Hmm. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Rocco and its tiny partner, Redcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. We'll let you know. I guess. How far is this now? Hey, what's this? I got a security card! Okay, so clear for now. I'm sorry to borrow this for you, but unfortunately, we cannot be shot to death. Now, let's see who is more secure now, Mr. Robo, Robo Security. That's a minion's one. Good, we're safe. Alright. Now we can pass through without any problems. I don't believe it. That's only my first attempt. Well, at least nobody's trying to kill us. I'll give you a break. Mando. Our tanks are lucky. I know of the angle this time. Damn. That's really going to be passing by. Well, at least we're not going to go for all that again. <laughs> I have to go rants. Valid facial pattern detected. Good. We're safe. Thanks for now. <laughs> 